Hey, what's up, fragrance family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you my weekly fragrance rotation. Now, I do apologize. I'm still uh, pretty under the weather. Don't really feel all that great. Still super stuffy, so I apologize if uh, I sound nasally and stuffy. That's just because I am. <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and give this video to you guys today because this one really doesn't require any type of smelling or anything like that because I can't smell. So it's not like I'm reviewing anything, but just wanted to kind of share with you what I wore this week. And even though I was sick, I'm a fraghead, I still got to put cologne on. So uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to everyone who reached out to me, uh, you know, for their personal messages, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatnot, just to check up on me, make sure I was doing well. Thank you guys seriously so much. And thank you guys seriously so much for commenting on the video that I posted, you know, just wishing me well and hoping that I get to feeling better, um, you know, keeping me in your prayers. I really do appreciate that, guys. That is how the fragrance community should be. Just one big family looking out for one another. So seriously, guys, thank you so much. So want to get that out the way and then shout out to all the mothers out there shout out to my mom and to your guys' moms uh you know thank you guys seriously so much for all that you do for the family you know and doing your part and helping raising all of us so thank you to all the moms out there hope you guys have a great day and i hope that you guys uh, excuse me uh get treated on your special day so all right guys so let's go ahead and get into this um like i said this is my weekly fragrance rotation austin he's actually not here um as you can tell it's just me uh, he's in st louis doing a wedding sh uh, shoot so he's doing the photography for that so he couldn't be here which is fine you know i'm not saying he's going to be here for every single fragrance rotation but i do know that you guys have enjoyed that and uh, he really enjoys it too so um yeah maybe he'll be on here next week maybe not i don't know we'll see how it goes but I digress. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead, hit the red subscribe button. Really does help me out. Give the video a thumbs up and we'll get started. So Mondays, I think I'm going to kind of designate for Aventus and here's why. I wanted to go with a Creed, like just fragrance week, just to kind of test all my creeds, see what they do. But I thought that'd be kind of a boring. So what I think I'm going to do is on Mondays, test all of my creeds especially Aventus's because I have so many different batches and see, you know, if any performance, you know, really varies or not because, I mean, if I wear it, you know, one week and then wait three weeks, I don't, you know, really know or remember, hmm, I got this amount or this did that. But if I wear it, you know, weekly, I think I can kind of keep up with, oh, this one lasted this long and I got this many compliments and so forth. So last week I went with Creed Aventus 19P21. This week I went with Creed 19P0. One and I will say this one is a little bit brighter, a little bit more fresh, and it does last a little bit longer. It does pack a bit more of a punch, and there is a bit more of a uh, of a woody facet to this, more maybe more of a, a darkness to this one. So maybe this one, you know, it's had a little bit more time to develop. I don't know. I have sprayed this one more than my other one, but. I digress. This one I did get overall better performance and better longevity. I did get compliments off of this one. So in my mind, as of right now, this one is the better performer out of my Creed Aventus collection. Um, this one actually tops the 17Q11 that I have, but I'm gonna wear that one next week, or actually tomorrow, and see what that one does for me. So Creed Aventus 19P01. Fun fact, this was actually my first Creed Aventus bottle I ever got. All right, so Monday night, excuse me, came home, got home from work, popped out of the shower, and I wanted something just easy to wear, something that was just, you know, just a dumb, safe, easy reach, and I went with Salvatore Ferragamo Pour Home. Now, this does have a grapefruit note in here, and I really have grown quite fond of grapefruit notes. I don't know what it is, but there's just something like kind of sweet and tangy, a little bit tart about it, and it just really gravitates towards me, at least right now. That's, you know, obviously subject for change. We're always changing our taste, and, you know, our nose is always developing, but as of right now, I really do enjoy this. It's just a really safe easy uh dumb reach like i said really bright fresh citrus in there a little bit of a spicy uh tint to it i think there's some um, pink pepper in here that kind of gives it that spicy facet but overall really easy safe dumb reach guys salvatore ferragamo great for just laying around the house just kind of an easy to wear fragrance hop out the shower and you're going to be smelling good type of fragrance 
All right, guys, we're ready this to Tuesday. Tuesday, for some reason, I was kind of in like just this old school mood, so I went with Jacquard Noir. Now, unfortunately, this has been reformulated. It doesn't smell exactly like how it used to. It's a little bit more watered down, doesn't perform as well. It doesn't last as long, but it's still Jacquard. We gotta have it in our collection. I can't really smell, let's see if I can. I, I can kind of sort of pick it up, not very well, but um, it does have the same type of DNA. It's just not as strong, not as pungent, but Dracar Noir is what I wore on Tuesday. Um, I actually did get a compliment. Austin commented on it. I went and helped him out with his bus, and he said, man, I, I smell you, smell really good. So it's still pulling compliments, guys. Can't beat that. Tuesday night, came home. Uh, like I said, helped Austin with his buzz, got home, showered, wanted to just kind of lay around the house, not do much. So I went with Nanica uh, Classic. And this one, this is the one that started it all for me. If you've been part of my channel for any length of time, y'all know that this is the one that started the obsession for me. I got this when I was like six or seven years old and I can't smell anything. Ah, it makes me so sad. But uh, this is just a really light, fresh, uh, citrus, almost aquatic-like type of fragrance. Um, this is a staple in most people's collections. Honestly, um, most of us who are over the age of 25 wore this all the way throughout, you know, middle school, high school. And it's just one of those staple type of fragrances. Still good. It doesn't last quite as long as it used to. It has been reformulated. Doesn't quite pack that same punch that it used to, but it still gets the job done. My wife actually really enjoys this fragrance. Nanica Classic. All right, guys, that brings us to Wednesday. Wednesday and during the day, wasn't feeling all that great so i wanted something to kind of you know boost my spirits up so i went with this bad boy this is amouage reflection man and it was absolutely the perfect day to wear this fragrance it was like 75 there's a light crisp cool breeze growing uh clear blue sky sun out birds chirping you know the perfect spring day and so this bad boy it just i had to go with it this is just an amazing citrus um no, rolly, powdery, a uh, little bit of a you know jasmine with some white florals in here. It is just absolutely gorgeous. If you guys haven't got your nose on this, definitely, definitely recommend that. Amouage from Reflection Man. Perfect, perfect for the spring days. That night, got home from work, showered, just kind of wanted to lay around the house. You know, wasn't feeling super great. You know, kind of been battling this cold that I'm still getting over. So, hop in the shower. I put on Nautica Voyage Heritage, and I think this is actually my favorite out of the Voyage line. This one utilizes ginger, and it's got spearmint in here. It still kind of maintains that Nautica Voyage, you know, the classic Voyage DNA, but it takes up that cucumber, amps up the. Um, that green apple in here and you get this this super citrusy kind of spicy a little bit of a mint twist uh you know kind of nautica voyage and this is absolutely gorgeous i love it my wife loves it this is her favorite out of the line as well so guys don't be sleeping on this um this you can get at like marshall's tj maxx's places like that for like 15 16 bucks nautica voyage uh heritage don't sleep on it Brings us to Thursday. Thursday, I stayed home from work because I just was not feeling good at all. Um, you know, I wanted to, you know, just kind of relax and rest and I slept pretty much almost all day, but I still wanted to wear something. So I went with this. This is Pure White by Banana Republic. Just a really light, fresh, crisp, refreshing type of fragrance. Super easy to wear. Nothing really complicated about it. Just super, super bright citrus. It's got some white tea in here and it is just an amazing type of fragrance just to lay around the house in and just kind of chill. This is really good for the high heat in the summer, but also, like I said, great for just chilling out and just sleeping really that's all i did that day because i wanted to uh, start feeling better but banana republic pure white was my fragrance of choice that brings us to friday friday i still was not feeling very good at all stayed home from work that day but i could start to kind of sort of smell a little bit and i wanted to test it so i went with this bad boy this is beach hut by amouage and i honestly really really enjoy this fragrance i know that tyrone he does not like it there's a couple of people out there that really don't care for this fragrance but i really do enjoy this it's almost kind of like this fougere gentleman like type of scent not like your typical fougere but it almost has like this 
like shaving soap John Morrell actually kind of had a good description over it. It's that shaving foam that they would put on your face and then, you know, shave you at the barbershop. It kind of has that feel to it. You've got this beautiful bright mint note in here that just is kind of the star of this actually. Um, you know, I can smell that all the way throughout the life of the fragrance. My wife thinks this smells like black licorice, which I can honestly kind of sort of see, but it's just a, a beautiful fragrance, honestly. I love this stuff. It, it's definitely not for everybody. It is definitely a very niche-like type of fragrance, but if you like challenging fragrances, if you like stuff that's not gonna smell like anything else, I definitely recommend this. There is a freshness to it. There is a kind of a, it does kind of remind you of like being on the beach, but not like the water. It just kind of get that hot, warm sand, you know, kind of the ocean mist in the air with this mint in here. Guys, don't sleep on this stuff. At least sample it, give it a shot. On wash beach up man that brings us to yesterday yesterday i actually did go back to work still wasn't feeling the best but i've been on medication and you know i gotta pay bills so um i went with yves saint laurent alone now this is probably my favorite of the ysls i wish i could smell this but um this utilizes the note of ginger and i absolutely love ginger in fragrances this is a fresh kind of spicy a little bit powdery type of fragrance great for all year round uh fragrances but this actually really does shine in the uh, spring and the fall months really great for summer as well but um this honestly really does kind of shine like i said in the spring and fall months this is a big booty bottle you can see how much i've used of this stuff i absolutely love it my wife loves this stuff yves saint, yves saint laurent loam if you want just a fresh crisp refreshing type of fragrance a little little, little tinge of powder to it um, but with ginger and if you haven't really smelled any kind of ginger fragrances i think that is a great entry level uh to the ginger fragrances if you want to try them out so that was Saturday day, Saturday night, got home. I just wanted to crash, didn't feel good at all. Uh, made some dinner and then I put this bad boy on. This is Banana Republic Classic Red. Only problem with this is this lasts maybe 10 minutes, like no lie, it's, I can't smell anyways, but this stuff, I went with like four or five sprays. My wife said, mm, you smell good. And then literally like maybe 20, 25 minutes later, she goes, did you change shirts or did you take that stuff off? And I was like, no, it's on my shirt. So she literally smelled directly on my shirt and she was like, I really can't smell it. So this stuff doesn't last very long. So this might be just a great gym uh, fragrance, something to wear to the gym and after the gym, just to kind of get the, the, the funk off of you, you know, so to speak, but maybe hop out the shower, put the stuff on just to kind of get refreshed. And then honestly, 15, 20 minutes later, you can probably put something else on over this and you wouldn't even recognize you had this on. But Banana Republic Classic Red, you know, just a cr light, crisp, refreshing, kind of citrusy type of fragrance. Nothing super crazy, nothing special, but I digress. That brings us to today. Now today, taking my mom out to dinner uh, for Mother's Day, meet with the whole family. And you know, it's kind of a rainy, overcast day. The rain has stopped, thankfully, but it's just kind of got that spring air. So it's kind of warm, but that cool, crisp breeze, you know, is still lingering. So really good day to maybe wear a cardigan or something like that just a kind of a cooler spring day and i thought that this is going to be a really good day to bust out creed original santal i love this stuff i don't wear it much i don't know why like it smells great if i could smell I can kind of sort of pick up something there, but mainly what you're going to get in here, guys, is just this warm, creamy, a little bit spicy sandalwood, and it is absolutely an amazing fragrance to wear in the springtime. Also, I could see this being very good for the fall as well, but I digress. This is an amazing, amazing springtime fragrance, super light, just kind of warm. I got that, you know, like I said, that warm, creamy uh, sandalwood type of fragrance. It almost kind of has like... Um, a fougere quality about it like it doesn't smell like a barbershop uh, you know per se but it kind of think of like it's like a warm shaving foam that the, the barber would put on you and you know and give you a nice shave that's kind of what i get off of it not like a you know like a fougere like a, a gravitas or you know something like that or scandal or anything like that it doesn't have that kind of spice to it it just it's just got that warm creamy sandalwood um almost shaving foam type of vibe to it so that's what i'm gonna wear today so uh, i gotta get ready when i eat until like six o'clock tonight so i've got a little bit of a time but i just thought i'd wear that kind of something special to commemorate mother's day and um yeah so that's gonna do it guys um 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, next week, Austin might be on there. Who knows? Uh, you know, he's probably not going to be on every single video, but you guys seem to like it and he really does like it as well. So definitely going to keep doing that. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, be sure and comment down below which fragrances you wore this week. If you got any compliments, uh, you know, what was your favorite one you wore? Uh, and what are you guys wearing uh, for Mother's Day? Are you guys taking your mom's out? Are you guys doing anything? Are you coming over to her house, making her dinner? Like what, what are you guys doing for Mother's Day? Be sure and comment down below. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you again, seriously, so much for checking up on me. That really does mean the world to me. That is exactly how the fragrance community should be. So like I said, Thank you guys seriously so much. That's going to do it for this video, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, if you love it, wear it.